Good morning. Okay, so I've been keeping a little secret from Alex for the past few months and I'm about to tell him what's happening today. We're about to go on a little adventure. <laughs> something that he's wanted to do for so long. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to tell him the whole adventure today or if I'm going to keep that a secret for tomorrow because the main element of this little secret trip is tomorrow but today we start our journey so I think he's coming up the stairs and I'm going to tell him what's happening. Hello. Hello. Do you want to come and sit down? Do I? What are we doing? I'm telling you what's going on. I thought it was a surprise. Okay. Do you want the full story now, or do you want part of the story now? What do you think is best? I think part of the story. Okay, so do you want to know where we're going today? Where? So, we are going away for two nights, mm -hmm. three days, yeah. starting today. Okay. Do you want to know where? Yeah. We're going to London. Obviously. What do you mean, obviously? <laughs> so, so it's not Alton Towers? <laughs> no! So I told him before this video, I told him last night that we were going away somewhere because yeah. I realised I was going to surprise him this morning, I was going to vlog my, me waking him up <laughs> and I was going to vlog the whole surprise like that but then I realised he needs to pack his stuff and I know that yeah. he, Alex would not like that. You would find no, that stressful. It would, have been a, it would have been a stress. So yeah, yeah. we're going to London mm. and tomorrow we're doing something exciting. Do you want me to tell you what or do you want to wait till tomorrow? I'll wait till tomorrow. Okay. So I feel like this is underwhelming now because you don't oh, know the right. whole story. Okay, it's fine. <clears throat> you guys can come along for the journey and find out as we go. I guess London. Yeah, why? But it was a guess. Or well, just... Because well, we weren't driving anywhere, so I thought, well, maybe we were going... You'll find out um, today, Yeah. like, another part of the excitement because it's something we're doing today we've never done together before. So <laughs> we've never done this, but so it'll be really, really fun. And it's a bit of a Christmas treat, so... Mm -hmm. I have an idea. What's your idea? We say we haven't done it. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to react, <clears> but <throat> tell me what your idea is. Ice skating at the Natural History Museum. Okay. So, we'll find out. We have, we have actually ice skated before, so that wouldn't make sense. We'll find out. Stay tuned. But we're pa our bags are nearly packed yep. here. <laughs> and... When um, have we got to leave? We've got to leave in 40 minutes. Okay. And we're going to be getting a train to London! Right, so I'm just having some breakfast. It's five to ten, we're ready to go. So we'll see you on the train. Foot on the train. Have you made it? Just. This is a super fast train to London. It's only three and a half hours. Yeah, which I didn't realise it was so quick. Yeah, because it only Crazy. stops at Plymouth, Exeter and Reading, and then London, Paddington. And usually trains to London will take five hours. This is only three and a half, so it's so good because we're leaving at 10.30 and we're arriving at 2. Nice. So good. So we've arrived in London. It's looking very pretty in here. I want to show you. Pretty. Pretty. Oh, yeah, it is. Alex still doesn't know where we're going, so I'm going to have to do the directions. Um, and we've got reservations for three p.m. Are we taking all this stuff to the reservations? Well, you'll just have to wait and see, won't you? I'll think all these things through. I won't leave any anything. Disorganised, it's all very organised, this trip. So you say? Yeah. Apart from when you forgot your debit card this morning. Uh, no, I thought you had it and then you said you didn't have it, so that's different. Maybe that's something you should check before we leave. Shut up. Are you excited? Are you yeah. on tenterhooks? Yeah. Are you confused what's happening? Where am I? <laughs> also, speaking of Maddie being um, organised, she also forgot her rail card. Slash, no, I didn't. It's expired. I booked the tickets and didn't realise my uh, rail card was expired, but luckily no one noticed. But don't worry, way? Maddie's super organised. Shut up, which way are we going? We're going on a bus tour of London. No. Or are we 
always wanted to. Oh, I hope this is the right way. Let me just... I'm trying not to show Alex on my phone. Don't look, don't look, don't look, no, please don't look, please don't look. Should be just down here. See your phone? No, get off it. Is the, is the, an, phone? Is the anticipation building? Not really. No. No, I can't know what Alex doing. is not an excited person, it's really annoying. I get more nervous than excited. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That's quick. <laughs> So what do you think is happening? Are you having a tour of the hotel? What do you think is happening then? I think we're having food here. Yeah? And staying here. Huh? And staying here. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. In a vegan hotel. You'll have to wait and see. I've never heard of this place. <laughs> My gosh, the size of the bed. What's in there? Oh, tea. Look how cool. Wait, the thing I'm most excited about is the bathroom. Oh, wow. Wait, where are the lights? This bathroom. Oh, my gosh, this is bathroom girls. Wait. Look at the marble. Levitating toilet. Oh my goodness. Is it like a bead? Oh my God, it's a bee day. Look. We've missed our bee days, haven't we? Are you excited? Yes. Go on, jump on the bed. Oh God. <laughs> ah. oh, that was the telephone cable. <laughs> oh. oh, this is nice. Wait. What? Is there a TV in there? Wait. Is there a TV in there? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope you can get Netflix and stuff on it. Or at least some movies. That'd be so amazing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, let me tell, let's go through this. So basically because we've had such a good year and we're always budgeting and trying to save money and trying to be smart and all these kinds of things i just wanted to treat you and treat us to something we never do we never yeah. book hotels we never <clears throat> you know go on you know like it's almost like the last time you booked a hotel i don't think i've ever booked a hotel i've never stayed in a hotel like this for myself we've never stayed in a hotel just oh, the we two sort of us. did it in like cambodia but that was more an airbnb no, we, we always hotel. we always do hotel uh, Airbnb, yeah. and we always try and get the cheapest option, <laughs> and like you know try and save. And I just thought, do you know what? I looked up online. I was like, I want to. So there's there's something that's happening tomorrow that's the reason for this trip. But when I was looking at accommodation, I was mm. like, look, there's a vegan hotel in London. So this place has a vegan um, French patisserie, so you can have vegan breakfast, and we're gonna have afternoon tea in about half an hour. Mm. I just thought, like, when when do we do that? It's called Le Sweet West. And I just thought we should treat ourselves, it's Christmas, as a little Christmas present to us. And the thing that's happening tomorrow is even more fun. Oh, I know about that, yeah. No, you don't. Uh, yeah. <sighs> but yeah, we never do this, and I yeah. wanted to treat you and organise something fun, and tomorrow is the funnest part. Well, well. Maybe if I shout them out enough, they'll um, give us a free trip here one day. <laughs> if you're watching this, <laughs> invite us back. <laughs> yeah, but I want the deluxe suite. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But I'm gonna, we're gonna freshen up and chill out. Have you got and then... anything planned after afternoon tea? No, well, I thought I didn't want to. I thought you'd planned this. I have planned it. I thought we'll go to afternoon tea because that's at three. So, afternoon tea, if you're not from the UK or England, it's like a, a, loads of sandwiches and cakes and stuff, usually on like mm, a cake have... tray scones and so, and typically yeah. it's never vegan because it's no. you know sandwiches filled with things like tuna or cheese or meat and then obviously the cakes aren't so it's, it's a real treat and i think that the cafe here or the restaurant here it's called cafe 41 it's the only vegan french patisserie in london or something that, like yeah. that have i said that no, you said that um but yeah it's it's very cool hmm. So I thought it'd be really fun. And then I thought, because after that, I didn't know how full we would be. <laughs> I thought, would we rather um, chill out at the hotel and then um, get food 
could you get the food delivered or something like that? Or you probably walk to get. Or something. would we rather maybe go out later? I didn't know what you wanted to do, so I wanted to leave it open. We'll see you at afternoon tea. Wow, I want one of these. Look how cool this is. So I've got rooibos and Alex has got peppermint. Let's pull this bad boy. Perfection. This is so cute. I want this for Christmas. <laughs> Bit late. Tell me now. Well, let you see the water. It's a clean pour. So it has arrived. Wow. Oh my goodness. This has caught my eye. Which one? As has this. Oh, the peanut butter one. As has this. But you don't like peanut butter. Oh, is it peanut butter? Look how pretty. I have to have those for you. Huh? I'll have them for you. <gasps> and this is um, vegan smoked salmon, which looks very good. Which one should I have first? I think this is a vegan... Which one? BLT. This one was a vegan BLT. Let's try this. Also, do you like the music? Mm. latte and how much are you enjoying this one it's my new favorite i'm giving alex the other half of mine because i'm not a fan of peanuts yeah. you're gonna have more scone i think i'll be okay <laughs> Update. We have spent the last hour, I would say, trying to figure out what we're going to do for food because neither of us are hungry. And it's what time I'm is it? I could eat. 19:51. So it's nearly eight o'clock, and I want to get delivery to the room and just sit and eat in a robe and mong out. And Alex wants to go to the restaurant because there's half off on Pizza Express and banana tree which is just around the corner neither of us want oh, to venture out far yeah. there is a place called pharmacy that's nearby but it's quite overpriced and I'm when not i'm not sure if you're in the mood i think we're going to go tomorrow instead because when you're hungry sorry when you're not hungry i don't if i'm not hungry i don't want to spend 15 pounds on a main meal that we can't decide and we keep on going around in circles did anyone else do this where you spend more time trying because you have so many options you spend more time trying to decide where and what you want to eat and in, in what scenario than you do actually just doing it. Like we do it with movies too, you spend like a day deciding. Yeah. Because Alex wants to go out to eat because it's cheaper because they've got a half price offer. Right? Is that why? Bog off. Do you also want to walk, go for a walk and be outside? Is that also, well is that's that... part of the attraction, yeah. Because we've been inside since we got here. Like, I feel like we, we, Two. we woke up. We got in the car to the train, yeah. got on the train to London, got on the underground to here, walked two minutes outside, and then we've been inside since. Yeah. Um, I only got six hours sleep last night, and I'm not the sort of person who can do that. Like, I can't. I have yeah. to have eight hours, otherwise I am a zombie. Like, right now, I have a headache. I've taken ibuprofen, I still have a headache. Well, you've only just taken it. Yeah, but like, oh my gosh. I'm so tired. But I see what you're saying, fresh air might help. 
But also I had this idea in my brain because I never stay in hotels. I know what you want to but do. But we could get in robes and like, you we know, in the movies. Because I'm probably going to want to come back and like have a shower or something in that mm. amazing shower. Get in a robe with like the underfloor heating on and put... But you know in movies when they have on. all the food in the bed and yeah, it's like, but... yay, we're in a hotel. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get a chance to do that in the future. No, because we're not going to be here. No, no, no. Oh dear. What do we do, Alex? Also, part of me just wants to go to sleep and not think about it because that food was enough food for dinner. Part of me just thinks, why am I even eating? I should just go to bed. I'm so still full. So I asked on Instagram and the vote is already way in, in favour of me. How do it you was, feel about that? It was a skewed poll. It was an advisory referendum and the results are not legally binding. <laughs> I think we need to order something now because we're both getting hungry and tired and teasy. Teasy? Yeah, you're getting teasy with me. I am not teasing you at all. Oh boy. Where's the rocket? <laughs> oh yeah. Wait. I'm scared that that's not vegan. Why? So we ordered this pizza from a place called Forraza. We finally decided, I don't know if we up updated you, we finally decided on getting takeaway. And it's arrived and it, it's, it's slightly wrong. So basically on their website they have a vegan chorizo pizza and then they have an option to make your own. So we selected the vegan chorizo one, which I think is this one. So it's like a meter of pizza, but you have half and half. But then the vegan chorizo one was like a pre-made pizza that had sweet, pe sweet peppers and rocket and stuff. And there's only the vegan chorizo on there. And then the other half we made ourselves. So we put mushrooms, artichokes, and then vegan pepperoni. But the pepperoni looks and smells like normal pepperoni. Like, I can't understand. Like, look. This, so you see how that, I can't really show you because it's so dark in here, but you see how there's like, it looks like proper meat. That doesn't look like vegan pepperoni. And if it is vegan pepperoni, it's very realistic. I've never seen that before. So I'm just very confused. Can you ring them? So yeah, it's real. Yeah, did you really vlog this before? Yeah, I said, it's yeah. real It's real pepperoni. Bang. We rang them. They said that the real pepperoni is like a 10 pence piece and the vegan yeah. pepperoni is bigger because we've had this before from this company. Yeah. Alex is going to go, he said that there was a homeless person outside the underground, so he's going to go give it to them. Are you going to eat the half that's vegan? I don't want to. Well, I'd like to, because I know it's vegan. I mean, it's up to you. I'm scared. I'm not going to eat the other half. But you can. You can take the half that's vegan, because the other half has vegan chorizo, so you can tell. But I just... Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to eat it. I just want to watch the holiday and eat pizza. And I'm going to order from ZZ's or something. I don't know. I don't care at this point. <laughs> It's like so late. It's like 10 o'clock and I wanted to have an early night. I found someone outside Tesco just around the corner. Yeah. So he seemed pretty pleased. Yeah. He looked quite sort of cold and hungry, so it made me feel better. The first thing I thought was, because we're not going to eat it, because I know it's a genuine mistake and I'm not like, it's not, it's not good, like Fereza. Oh, what is it? Was it deliberate? Mm, dun, dun, dun. No, he said, he said on the phone, he said, oh, he's new. I don't know if that was an excuse, but like, <laughs> for, if like Fereza, this is not cool. Like if you for some reason are not watching this video, it isn't cool. Yeah. But I also understand that mistakes happen, but it's not okay. But it's just odd that the, the order was so wrong. It wasn't just Yeah, because it literally says vegan pepperoni and it would have said that on the thing. So it's quite bad. But like, at least there was a little solution that someone yeah. got food out of it. So that's yeah. good and he's probably cold because it's freezing this time of year yeah. so that makes actually it's better. not i mean it's not as cold tonight fortunately so hopefully he'll enjoy that pizza yeah just placed an order with zz's hopefully they'll come to the rescue so it's arrived uh, i don't understand what's going on this is real cheese this is not vegan cheese i've had the vegan cheese at zz's this is real cheese i am so confused what is happening it's also ice cold like I'm so sorry to be complaining. I probably shouldn't do this online like this because I'm so grateful and I know that I'm so lucky. But it's cold. It's literally like it's been in the fridge. Cold. Completely cold. And this is real cheese, I swear to you. I don't... I'm so confused. So let me just show you something. Can you shine this flashlight on here? So, 
if you look at this how it's like it looks like grated cheese it's been melted right and it looks yellow this is the tags on zz's recently this is what the cheese lo usually looks like it's like liquidy creamy white mozzarella and these are recent posts so this is one from three days ago you see how it's like liquidy and white and i've had this pizza so many times and this is do you see how it's like Oh, is it because it's just cold? Because this is but cold. Like, look. The way it peels off is like, I don't know. I am just, my mind is blown. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. I can't eat it. So, I was right. I rang them up and they said, yep, my bad. I put it through as a vegan margarita. Uh, sorry, normal margarita. <sighs> at least they actually knew. I mean, not at least. <laughs> It was funny how he was on the phone. He's like, yeah, oh yeah, I did that. <laughs> what are the chances of that happening? Not once, this has never happened but twice. Before. I have never in my whole five years of being mm. vegan that had that happen before. Oh, one time it happened was in Pret. Remember when I had that tuna uh, yeah. wrap? But that was kind of different because I picked it up off the shelf. It was mislabeled. And that's so bad if you think about what, or if you don't know. Recently, Pret, um, there was a huge, huge situation where two young girls was it, was it two young girls i think there were two separate preps two separate occasions two Some people of them were a died while ago, but i don't know these things need to be taken more seriously like obviously i don't need to worry about that because i'm not allergic but like the fact that there are restaurants it's so dangerous can you imagine if you're allergic to something you would feel so paranoid every time you ordered some food i just bad. I, I always get pretty paranoid with stuff especially because yeah. it's got to the point where it's like is this vegan cheese? I know. I don't know anymore. And it's so hard to tell. And the irony was that I ordered, we ordered the Forreza one. And then I was, he offered to send a, a, another pizza, the right order. And I said, no, no, no. Because I, I didn't want to trust that. them. Because I didn't, what do you mean you don't know why I did that? You would have got a nice juicy pizza. Alex, they just sent me a pizza with pepperoni on it. Yeah. Why would I say yes to another? So I said no because I was like, oh, I don't trust them, but I trust ZZ's because ZZ's never fails me. ZZ's, we have ordered pizza from them so many times. We've had so many vegan pizzas from ZZ's. And then what happens? I order it and it's a bloody non-vegan pizza. Mm. Should have just gone to sleep. Usually your intuition knows. Yeah. Anyway, good night, everyone. Sorry that this ended on it's a rant. It's going to be much funner tomorrow. That's not a word, honey. Funner. More fun. More funner. More funner. Good night. Much more funner. Don't order a vegan pizza from Ferrez or Zizi's because you probably won't get it. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Happy Christmas, everyone.